Today I'm going to talk about the color wheel. This is a great tool for helping you figure out what colors go well with other colors, plus it gives you a wealth of other information from complementary colors to split complementaries, warm versus cool, tints, tones, and shades, on and on. What happens when you add one color to another color? So um, there's a lot of information to cover. I'm going to talk about some of the features on this wheel, but um, this particular wheel I also want to point out is one by the Color Wheel Company. I just think it's a great tool and I highly recommend it. So let's get started. So one of the first things I'm going to talk about is complementary colors. So if you turn the wheel, this top part of the wheel, and point it to yellow, you can see that the complement of yellow is violet. If you point it to blue, you can see the complement is orange. And if you point it to red, you can see the complement is green. So those are the three primaries. But you can also do this to any color in between those. Red-orange complement is blue-green. So they're opposites on the color wheel. This is another way you might hear um, complementary colors referred to as opposites on the color wheel. So that's one thing that this tool does. Another thing that it does is talk about or show you um, tints, tones, and shades. And what that means is that if you turn the color wheel back to this blue, um, tint, tone, and shade shows up here. And tint is adding white, tone is adding gray, and shade is adding black. So it shows you what you're going to get. This is a good example of showing tint, tone, and shade with red. So you add white, it's going to get more pinkish. Add gray, it's going to just gray it down, and then shade darkens it. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, the other thing the color wheel shows is split complementaries. So if I'm back to pointing at yellow, the split complementary is going to be red-violet and blue-violet on the color wheel. So what that means is that the complementary color you know now is violet. Either side of violet is what's considered the split complementary. And what that means is that these colors will go nicely together. For the longest time I was like, well, what's the point of the color wheel? Well, really it's all about helping you to figure out what colors go nicely together. So one other thing that you can see when you work with this color wheel is that Three colors together or side by side on the color wheel are considered analogous colors. So that means they will go nicely together. And you can see those do. That would be a nice color combination for a painting or a room or whatever you're working on. Um, again, red, red, violet, and violet. That looks really nice together. Another thing the color wheel points out is warm versus cool. So Colors up here on this half of the color wheel are warm and down here are cooler. So it points that out. Um, what else does it have on here? Point out. Okay, the, the other side of the wheel is really cool because it gives you an idea of what will happen if you have a yellow and you add red to it. You're going to get an orange. So you probably knew that already. That's probably pretty obvious, but it's cool to look at. If you add yellow to yellow, you get yellow. If you add blue to yellow, you're going to get some sort of green. If you add white to yellow, you're going to get a really lighter version of it. If you add black to yellow, you're going to get this darker version or yellow of yellow, but really what you get is a green. Um, it's a kind of a nice, I love I love yellow and black together. It makes a really pretty green. I hope you can get one. Um, it's a really cool tool. I love it. And I do refer to it. You can tell it's well used. And um, if you have any questions about it, just give me a shout. Thanks.